και με σενάρια μάλιστα και φήμες που μιλούν για λουκέτο κλείσιμο. ERT, Greece's public radio and television station, ceased to exist as of Wednesday, even though hundreds of staff members are still in the company's main building in Athens. The Greek finance minister spoke just before midnight and claimed that the remaining workers were to abandon the building and that ERT's broadcasting would be suspended until a law allowing the creation of a new media company weren't stated. These measures were announced without any warning, even though rumors had been in circulation. The Greek government had been looking to put an end to the squandering of public funds that was the media station. The workers, however, don't share these views and see the company as an icon of democracy and Greek culture. Theodora Mackies, a foreign correspondent for ERT, commented on the situation. Porque no hablamos solamente de tres canales de televisión, de cuatro canales de radio. We're not just talking about three TV channels or four radio channels. We're talking about an orchestra, the choir. ERT is an icon of Greek culture that is broadcast all over the world thanks to public TV. It's something that private companies cannot offer. The workers that remain have locked themselves inside the building and have the people's support. A demonstration and a 24-hour television strike called for by the media syndicate have been scheduled for Wednesday, whilst a written press strike has been proposed for Thursday.